Hello everyone, welcome to my Tinkercad 3D modeling video of the Star Wars Star Destroyer. This is part two, where we crank up the excitement and add those epic details to the sides of the Star Destroyer. Let's dive right in. We'll starting by adding large shaped panels and holes to the main body. This gives the ship some serious depth and complexity when we 3D print it later. Check this out. I'm cutting the sides to give it that authentic sci-fi look, just like the original design. Now I'm adding channels on the side of the ship. These will be perfect for placing those small detail panels later on. This is where it gets really cool. Here I'm creating the side channel and following the silhouette of the ship. When we add the side panels, they'll look like ship windows and exhaust panels. Since I cut out the side of the Star Destroyer using a six-sided polygon, I'm repeating that process but using it as a negative to carve out the shape of the channel. For the small detail panels, I'm stretching out boxes into different shapes and throwing in a sphere here and there. The best part? I clone these designs and extend them so I don't have to start from scratch each time. Just a bit of randomizing and voila! They don't look repetitive at all. Now take those long, intricately shaped panels and cut them to fit into the side channels of the Star Destroyer. Group them together for easy arrangement. Then, just move and rotate them into place along the sides and walls of the ship. This technique adds that sleek, high-tech look that makes our Star Destroyer stand out. Why do we use these box-like panels on the sides and body of the Star Destroyer? because they scream technologically advanced and sci-fi. Pretty much every sci-fi ship has this look. Hollywood ship designers started this trend, and now it's a staple. When these box panels overlap, it gives the ship that iconic science fiction vibe. I love using this technique. I apply it to almost all my sci-fi ship designs. It transforms those boring, clean, flat surfaces into something far more complex and three-dimensional. These small panels will make the ship look like it has windows and intricate details. Stay tuned for the next part, where we'll be creating even more detailed panels for the ship's surfaces. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and follow me for more fun videos on 3D modeling with Tinkercad for 3D printing. Oh, and don't forget, you can download my models on the Maker World website. Just search for the user Faye 3D Lab. I've got tons of 3D model spaceships waiting for you. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video.